Everybody can be treated at the Embarrassing Bodies Clinic. Some people have chronic conditions that simply cannot be cured. They've learned to live with their conditions, so there's no reason for us to be embarrassed. Sarah is an 18-year-old student from Edinburgh who has a mental illness that makes her repeat the same actions over and over again. Everyone has their own rituals and compulsions that they have to carry out. But I think it becomes a real problem when you can't live your basic life without these thoughts disturbing you. When I wash my hands, I would still feel like my hands were dirty and so I'd have to wash them again. And when I did wash them again, it sort of feels like I'm taking off a layer of skin on my hands and it feels really fresh. She has an obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. It's a serious anxiety related condition that affects 3% of the population. People like Sarah have persistent, repetitive and intrusive thoughts that they find hard to ignore. I like things to be in threes. Things like washing the cutlery three times. Until I do it three times, I don't feel like it's clean. Even though I know in my head that that's not true because when you wash it once, it will be clean. I like to chew it 33 times. And sometimes, if my OCD is really bad, after it's chewed 33 times, if I can't swallow it, then I'd have to spit it out because I can't chew it more than 33 times. So dinner usually takes quite a long time for me. People react in different ways. They, some people are scared of me, which is quite hard to deal with because I don't think, I'm, I'm not dangerous or anything. People with OCD aren't attention seekers. They, they can't help it. We understand that our compulsions aren't like realistic. I know that washing my hands until they bleed isn't going to do me any good but at the same time I can't help it and just in the same way that people deal with their anxieties in life through other things this is how I deal with mine. Sarah has been controlling her symptoms with medication and she's on a waiting list for cognitive behavioural therapy. She's hoping this will allow her to continue her studies at university.